Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a good morning today. I've got a brand new, well, I shouldn't say brand new, same old R-Pod, but completely different look. Exterior from interior, inside, outside, uh, all new, and I'm going to break all that down. It's the 2023 R-Pod 171, and if you guys don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me. I am a salesperson here at RV Nation as well, so if you guys are in the market for an RV, my contact information, along with the specifications of this unit, things like length and weight, you'll find down, down there. But like I said, 2023 R-Pod 171, and this thing, uh, the outside isn't as dramatic as the inside, but the outside is pretty cool. They added some more decals like that R-Pod, you know, sitting right there. They put a little goat man on the front of the door, but I'll break all that down in the exterior portion of this tour. But the main thing I wanna drive home is check out the side of this. So you added on, you know, some shapes, some little hexagons right there with the blue, gold, and gray accents. You also got this little star right here looking sharp. But um, if you're familiar with the R-Pods, what they really did was they took away some of that honeycomb. Before it was all the way across and had a lot more of this gold, you know, kind of specs to it. And they really lightened it up. They canceled out some of that noise. But I figured, you know, I'm gonna start off on the inside. Everyone likes the inside. This should be a short video. This is R-Pod's smallest RV that they offer. Um, you know, it's a no slide lightweight unit. You can do it with most of your smaller, or most of your SUVs rather. Um, you know, pretty much any truck at all can pull this thing, which I absolutely love about it. You're in and out. You don't have to worry about any of the campgrounds. Um, you know, you can go to some of your smaller, more intimate spots that, you know, you might not usually go in some of those big behemoths. But right when you walk in, this thing has got the wow factor for the change. You got that kind of wood look top to it. You got the blue accent walls before. These were gonna be like a dark brown. This side wall was a brown. These were, you know, kind of a, a different, it was a different color brown. But you know, now it's just, uh, it's looking nice and sharp. I think they got kind of more with the times there, you know, a little bit more modern looking. Pretty snazzy. So right here in the front, uh, this is that 171, so space, everything's got to be utilized. So right here, you know, this is more of a traditional, a couple's coach, but you do have the ability to sleep the occasional sleeper as well if you need. This right here will drop down and make a bed for you. You got windows on all three sides really up here up front, so you can get either one, get a nice cross breeze, or two, enjoy the beautiful views that I hope you guys are getting. That front cap is also an emergency exit. Let me shut this door. That truck decided to park right there. It's also an emergency exit in case you need to get out and you guys can't make it to the door. You do have that availability right there. But nonetheless, it adds for a great cross view, a great view. They're all tinted windows here you know, on the R-Pod, which I definitely enjoy. So like I said, this makes a bed. So you're held on. You got these metal posts back here. They're just sticking into the floor. So you just pull it up, drop it. And then you got these little ledges right here that that tabletop, you know, will lay down on. You also have straps to keep everything nice and secure so you can kind of travel, you know, in dinner mode. So on this side, you do have some storage that goes up underneath. I won't show you too much of that just because I'm working with one hand and a, and a camera. But you got your box for your TV there. There we go. Right here against this wall, you got yourself your TV. Now this is strapped in for travel, but you simply just unbuckle and then you can flip it around any which way. It's on this, this arm right here. So you can swing it and face it back here towards the bed. You know, or if you're just sitting there hanging out, you can angle it to whichever side that you're eating. Now, as far as eating is concerned, you gotta cook your food. So right here, this thing actually has a pretty impressive uh, cooking station for the size of RV that this thing is. So you got your two stovetop suburban burners. You also have a, a cutting board uh, backsplash that you can use right there, which is always fancy, always nice. Lay it down on top or use it to kind of keep some of the grease off the walls if you guys are cooking up some bacon. You got your high-rise faucet. And then you have your stainless steel circular bowl. The reason why they did the circle is it gives you just a little bit more space there as opposed to a rectangle which would dominate this area, quite frankly, probably get in the way of that. 
but this way it's a little bit more versatile for the spacing that you do have. Underneath, you got plenty of storage. You know, it is a small camper, so anywhere that you can sneak in storage is definitely going to be a plus. Um, not only below, but you also have it above right here as well. So you got two speakers in this on the interior. You got right here and right here. That's all going to be controlled right up here on this IV, uh, IRV Technologies. Um, so zone one and two, that's going to be inside, outside. You got yourself a HDMI port, a USB port, and then, you know, aux, AFM, Bluetooth, you know, all that stuff can be controlled right there. Solar charge controller, that's just to let you know that the solar is working. Uh, it's about 8.15 in the morning, so it's uh, still juicing up on a cloudy day, which is, you know, pretty nice. They pick up some serious power, you know, even when the sun might not be blatantly kind of blaring down on you. Two USB ports and two outlets, all centrally located right here. So that way you can charge your devices, hook up a blender, you know, do whatever that you do. Microwave. A convection microwave, which is always nice. And then right here, you got yourself your central vac. So you lift that up, push all the dirt into it, or, you know, you can put a hose attachment right there. Bathroom, get yourself a little vent right there. It's going to be your wet bath, so it's kind of your two-in-one, your versatile. You know, they're really utilizing the size here and the in and out of this unit. But what they, one thing they did add, which I definitely enjoy, is the shower miser. If you're not familiar with what a shower miser is, you basically turn this little ledge one way or the other, and it blocks the water from coming out right here, you know, out of the, out of the faucet and it circulates inside that tank and warms it up. So that way in turn, you're not just blowing through all your valuable fresh water. So that's a pretty nifty thing to have. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's, come on. Refrigerator, it's a big one. A little bit of shelf space right here. This is going to be your control for your AC and your heat. And this little plastic doodad is for some hanging items. That way you can use that, you know, as a kind of a little floating hanging rack. All right, then you got the bed. You got three more windows, one at the back, one left and right. Another emergency exit right here. Push and pop, you're out. You also have blinds here on this side. But uh, all these open, so you can get a really nice cross breeze. And then underneath, you have storage as well that also has access, you know, through the exterior uh, with their doors. All right, let's head outside. All right, so again, they changed the exterior completely. We went over that a little bit, but now I'll just kind of show it to you up close. That's gonna be your outdoor speakers, marine grades. You don't have to worry about the elements out here or cover them up or anything if it's raining. Single axle unit. You have some outlets if you need to hook up anything out here like a TV or maybe, uh, you know, if you're cooking out on a little table, you got some access for a radio uh, or, you know, or anything that you wanna play. Black tank flush. Uh, essentially, that's going to be a sprinkler system on the inside of your black tank, help keep everything flushing out. And then you have a little spray port right there as well. So this is an Asdale sidewall. Um, what that means, it's basically a little bit less susceptible to water damage as some of your other RVs. You know, it's basically a, um, it doesn't absorb it. It's not like your OSB kind of fiberglass where it's, that water gets in there and makes it fluff out. You know, it's a little bit easier to, uh, a little bit nicer material. Tons of storage here underneath. And as you can see, that's gonna be the interior. You got the magnetic latches, which I enjoy. It's not that cheap plastic clip that you go on there that you break off just about every time you, you move it. They put, I like how they put the actual flooring in there. And then this is an aluminum uh, framed camper. So this gives you a nice opportunity to see that. And then you'll see it's also welded at all the points. 
manual stabilizing jack so buy yourself a little drill zip those up and down but it is actually a lifting jack which is always handy spare tire here on the back and then right up here you're going to see you got three little lights you can remove one of those for an observation camera if you'd like that way you can see what's going on behind you uh, you know while you're driving the camper runs you about 550 bucks installed sewer outlet connection so that's going to be your dump valve back end of your hot water heater well i guess i'm not getting into that one today it's going to be your power plug-in cable and satellite wastewater holding tank and then your fresh water drain is going to be under here as well uh, your city water connection fresh water connection all that's going to be right there But I know that was a short little uh, short little RV tour. Um, but yeah, there you have it. There are the changes for the 2023 versions of the R-Pod. This was the 2023 R-Pod 171. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Have a great day. See ya.